everyone. Welcome to Modernly Old Fashioned, a blog where I share our homesteading lifestyle. In the beginning of summer, we love to go look for wild berries, and one of our favorite first finds are always mulberries. And today we are mulberry picking. I actually am filming this after we picked mulberries, so if you see purple hands or stains on my shirt, it's because mulberries stain very, very easily and we are completely covered in purple. So my parents' house, they have a huge mulberry tree in their backyard and the kids and Mike and I, we all got together with my nephew and we picked some mulberries and it's so fun to do with kids, but make sure they're not in like their best clothes because they will get stained. But lucky for you, I have a great tip on how to get mulberry stains out and I will be featuring that at the end of this video. Stay tuned till the end. I also will have some recipes, sorry, the bugs are just terrible, the gnats are awful. Um, I will have some recipes as well linked to this. Um, I'm planning on making mulberry jam and mulberry pie. I will show you our process on how we pick mulberries, what we find to be the easiest way. Enjoy. Now the biggest thing you're going to need is a tarp. This allows you to collect the mulberries a lot quicker and a little bit cleaner than picking them directly off the, the ground. You can, if the bush is small enough, you could pick it directly off the bush, but we have a gigantic tree here, so using a tarp works the best. Once your tarp is laid out under your tree or bush, you just start shaking and the berries will fall down and then you can collect them. Good job, Roman. Here, Roman, do you want this? Do you guys want one of these? Yeah. Now, if your husband happens to be part bear like mine and loves to climb in trees, you can climb up and start shaking from higher up as well, but of course, be careful with this. Let's see your fingers, Roman. Let's see, show me. Did you get some on your fingers, Loretta? Let's see you. One of the nice things about shaking them out of the tree is that only the ripe ones fall off. Now if you are picking them off a bush or picking them off of a tree, you want to look for the ones that are all black and that come off easily and then you know that they are ripe. Well, it's going to take you a while to fill up your bucket because mulberries are not very big, but they sure do pack a punch as a superfood. They have high levels of protein and iron. They also are a big source of vitamin C, fiber, calcium, and antioxidants. So the hard work is totally worth it. Yeah, I was not kidding. Look how big this tree is. We could pick four days. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed our mulberry picking experience today. We have a lot of cleaning to do now. Our clothes are pretty, pretty bad. And yes, Loretta was wearing white. Not the best choice, but she looks so darn cute. And Don't worry, I did not forget to show you my awesome trick on how to get mulberry stains out of clothing. The simple trick is boiling water. So heat up a kettle or a pot of boiling water and put your garment over a bowl or something that will allow the water to flow through the fabric and pour your boiling water over the stain and it will just pull that stain right out. Now, of course, be very careful. This is hot, it is boiling water. So, but disclaimer, be careful. And my camera battery died right about here. So I will show you a picture of what the shirt looks like that I, after I brought it home and washed it. Thank you again for watching. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. 
I'm sorry, the bugs are so bad. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us on the homestead.